a rite of passage, with the field as a classroom and hash marks as guidelines. We see teammates becoming friends, friends becoming brothers. We see moms and dads standing taller as their kids dig deeper. We hear laughter and lectures, pads popping, get up, get up. praises sung through a face mask, echoing over proving grounds, where character grows stronger and lessons last a lifetime. But we also feel the power of teamwork and the magic of mutual goals. We feel the emotions of triumph and loss, the development and growth of team. And that's why we do what we must to certify coaches are trained, to verify safety measures are taken, testify about the values of the game, to strive relentlessly to satisfy every player and coach's desire to be better. We are caretakers of playing fields that yield enriched lives, teachers and protectors of an American tradition. Hello, test, one, two. Test. Hello. Testing, one, two. And good morning and welcome again to USA Football. We are here at Maslin Perry High School in Maslin, Ohio. This is the third weekend now that we have brought you USA Football. And today, the guys in the big time sports booth are going to bring you, this is middle school football and already, Bruce, second play of the ball game. We have it on the artificial turf. We have a turnover to start the ball game. Yeah, the first play of the game, the white team actually had a guy running wide open down the field and they couldn't connect. Second play, cough it up, down on their own 32 yard line. So the red takes over in good field position. All right. It's a beautiful day for football. This, of course, is all middle school players today. This is USA football development games from Maslin Perry High School in Northeastern Ohio. The white team, let's see. Red team now with the football. We're gonna go inside the 30, down to the 25 yard line. Nice bit of running there, cut inside. Bruce picked up big yardage. Yeah, that's number 13, Ethan Hebb out of, running back out of North Carolina, showing some moves there. All right. Want to thank you for joining us this morning for USA Development Football. Going to throw to the left side. Going to get it. Going to cut inside. If he gets a block outside, he could go. He's going to go down. He is inside the pylon. And Bruce, it does not take the red team long to get into the end zone. Watch this. This is R.J. Connell at quarterback. He's going to get the receiver all alone on the outside. And he's going to scoot down the left sidelines for the touchdown. Bruce. Nothing too complicated about that play, was yeah, it? Yeah, a little swing pass out of the backfield. Once again, Ethan Hepp, number 13 out of North Carolina, receiving the ball and into the end zone for a 20-yard touchdown. All right, so let's see if we can get a number here now. So uh, Ethan Hebb will be the holder. 
And the uh, kicker will be Aiden Martin. Number 20, Aiden Martin will make the PAT. And very quickly now, we have got ourselves a seven zip contest. We are in game one of four games today here in USA Development Football. And as you saw on the uh, extra point, there is no live kicking in these games. The kickoffs, the punts, extra points, there's no rushing and no returns. Well, let's take a look now and see if the uh, white team can uh, answer here after the very quick score by the red. Quarterback will scramble, big pressure coming at him right now. He's gonna tuck it and take it. He's gonna get past the first hit. He's gonna get all the way down to the 48 yard line. And Bruce, I like the wheels on Myron Scott at quarterback. Yep, Myron Scott out of Florida, number one. Can see him scramble out of the pocket, picks up 14 yards and a first down. Out to their own 49. All right, at the 49 yard line, 8.52 now to play in the first period. Out of the backfield, all the way down inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. Got a good block at the point of contact. Another good uh, run there, picked up 12 yards. That was uh, number 25, Clay Atherton, running back out of Missouri. Again, little swing pass to the near side. Gets past the first hit. Uh oh, cuts inside. He could go. He's got to be taken down at the nine number yard line. But the white guys, they are on the march. They are first and goal now from the nine. Pick up of 30 for number uh, 19. Troy Corson, wide receiver out of Pennsylvania. Watch him tight, play him tight. First and goal from the ninth, the give. First guy out of the backfield, not gonna get a whole lot that time, gonna be hit the line of scrimmage, maybe a pickup of only a yard. Good stop there by number 60, Christopher Bowers, a linebacker out of Georgia. Georgia. Brought down by All right, over these past three weekends Bowers. now, the big time sports Game guys at USA Football, the 11 games scheduled. And this, of course, is game number eight, the first of four today. He's got to get in side yeah, to pylon. They're going to say, no, he stepped out of He's going to step out at the four Brown yard line. Another little he swing pass out of the backfield. See, he's going to step out of bounds right there, right down around the uh, five-yard line. Yep. Scoreboard says three. They're going to give it, and he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Good defense that time, and I'm going to give credit to Big 67. Number 67 with the stop is Lorenz Sykes, a defensive lineman for the Reds. So Sykes with a good hit on the running back will make it fourth and goal now, and they're going to keep it, and they're going to go for it. Myron Scott at quarterback. Scott will go back. Scott will throw the quick one into the end zone. It's there, it's caught, but he was out of bounds as he was juggling the football. So a very good goal line stand, if you will, from the red defense. Bruce called the action. You can see a nice one-handed catch over here on the sidelines, but couldn't get his feet down to uh, make the reception. So the red team takes over on their own three yard line. All right, Bruce, let's talk about the uh, key players to watch. Here's the red team, Bruce. What are you talking about? Well, we've already seen Ethan Hebb, the running back, number 13, and a defensive lineman, number 84, Josh McCarron. All right, so two players to kind of keep an eye on today who have stood out over the past week uh, in practice. And let's take a look now, Bruce at the white team. White team, number eight, the quarterback, Peter Zamora, and a wide receiver, five, 19, Michael Troy Corson. These kids, about 300, 300 kids have been over at Walsh University in North Canton, Ohio, for the past several weeks, learning skills, developing what skills they brought with them. Everybody is working hard to get better and better with the guidance and training of the good people at USA Football. All right, third and nine, big play now for the red team as well as the D from the white. Little kick out quick 
Can he get past him and pick up the nine yards? And he is going to be knocked down at the 10, 15. That'll be enough for first down, Charlie. All right, so it worked. Gabriel Check it out, Bruce, to get it out to the guy with uh, with the speed there on the outside. Yeah, just a little one-on-one -on -one pattern out there. He makes the defender miss. Clear back on the two, turns on the Jets, and picks up enough for first down. Yep. Nice bit of running there. That was uh, uh, Saiten Thadani with the catch and the run. And here we go to the... Uh, Near side, not out of bounds at the 25 yard line. That's Mike Alvarado. Check out Alvarado out of the backfield. Good speed again, just a little sweep play. Gets out on the edge, picks up enough for another first down. Michael Alvarado out of, out of Illinois. All right, so here's a snap. They're going to put it in the air again. Slant pattern is going to be caught. He's going to go to the outside. This guy has got speed and all the way up to the 38-yard line. So we'll pick up a big pickup of 13 on the play. Another first down. Nice throw right on the money. Good catch with the hands. Good move upfield. Picks up 13 yards. Another first down. Reds on the move. I tell you what, Bruce, the red O-line, the red offensive line, giving good protection to the quarterback. Here it is, out of the backfield, a quick hitter. He's gone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So weak, banana, baby. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, run out of the backfield. How about it, Bruce? A 62-yard touchdown scamp. Check it out. This is Michael Alvarado again, and this is why this is why you practice all week, Bruce. Uh, once again, you talked about their offensive line. Gets some good blocks when he gets into that second level. Makes a couple miss. Then he turns on the Jets and just outruns everybody. Good speed for number five, Michael Alvarado out of Illinois. All right, so the uh, place kicker, Aiden Martin. There's a snap. It's not going to work, but you don't rush the punter. It's a free kick. Kick is up. I like it. Looks good from here. Let's tack it up. Put it on the board. And already the red team comes out of the box quickly here. Wow. What do we got, Bruce? 14 zip. 14 zip. Less than five minutes into the first quarter. All right. So it's a 14 zip contest here early. Ball comes out now to the 35-yard line since there's no kickoffs or returns. And the white team starts there. Well, let's see if they now can get back in the contest. Receiver Troy Corson, number 19. Good morning, Elijah. Let's go. Here to the near side. Here's a snap of the football. The white team needs to get back in the game. Oh, wow. What a big hit at the 31. He got good night, Irene, baby. Check it out, this is number 47 with the big stick. This is Albert Pontrelli, linebacker Albert Pontrelli with a ooh. Later, alligator. Yep, wow. two-yard two loss. All right, so second now in about 13. This is Zambora, quarterback now, right-hander. Oh, good tackle. Well, the pass was there, but no chance at all to pick anything up after that catch. Here it is on the replay. He just had to wait a little bit, turned around, and good form tackle right there. Loss of one, going to bring up third and 13. All right, third and 13. Here's the pass. Hit him, almost popped it loose, but he brought it back down, but nonetheless, not a whole lot of uh, yardage that time, just down to the 35. Picked up about four, good initial pop. He did a great job to hang on to this football, Charlie. Right there, you can see it comes loose. Good hands, picked it up. Going to force a punt. All right, so the punter now. Roberto Will be number 44, Roberto Diaz Jr. So Diaz back to kick it away in the way. Oh, good kick. Here it is. Gonna be uh, whistled dead at the 32. 
Picked up. All right, you are watching uh, game number one of uh, USA uh, football. We've got the red team under the direction of head coach Edwin and the white team under the direction of head coach Ryan. This is game number one of four games coming your way today. Team development games brought to you by USA Football. If you want to learn about USA Football, if you want to get involved, it's usafootball.com. The snap again. Uh-oh, he's going to get hit. And that, they're going to rule that an incomplete pass. That was number 80 from the white team in there. I think it's 80. Or 90. Must be 90. Malaki Mazzetti, number 90. Man, good hit. They called the arm going forward for an incomplete pass. All right, second and a 10 now. Ball on the 32-yard line. Four. Oh, three to play in our opening period. Already a 14 zip loose ball in the backfield. The quarterback for the red, that's R.J. Connell. Connell very wisely just falls on the football. Puts him way off schedule there with the snap. Going to bring up third and 20. But remember, on the last series, they broke one for 62-yard uh, touchdown run. So. All right, here we go. Needs a block to get outside. We'll cut Nate back Anderson in. Not a whole lot of running room. That time, that's Nate Anderson. Anderson, Nate the running back, out of the red backfield. Not a whole lot of running room that time. Picked up about Gonna up seven. About Gonna bring up fourth down, seven. Charlie. Yeah, fourth and long, so we'll kick it again. Aiden Martin, Aiden Martin again red. on the field. Martin will... Kick it away. With uh, three minutes on the clock in the opening period. Ball will be dropped and whistled dead. Mark it about the, uh, on the red 48 yard line. So good field position for the white team to try to get on the scoreboard. I want to thank, uh, you know, for on behalf of Big Time Sports, I want to thank the good people from USA Football for permitting us again to do the broadcast this summer. All right. So let's see. On the attack now, the guys from the white. Long pass goes incomplete. All right, Bruce, tell me about how tell me how important headgear is in football. Well, Rydell is one of the main sponsors here with the uh, USA football. They uh, fit all these kids with helmets. Rydell is the industry industry leader in football head protection. They're proud to support the U.S. national team as USA football's official helmet and protective equipment partner. All right, Corson with the pass. Corson could go. Uh-oh. He loses the football. Picks it back up. So we banana football fans. They are going to give him a touchdown. And this just might make the big time sports highlight reel with. That's right. This could be our cutters uh, catch of the game. And we're only in the first quarter. Yep. Check it out, Bruce. Call the action. Yeah, you can see right here Z Zamora. Swing pass again, wide open down the sidelines. Comes loose, probably a little sweaty. The ball's a little wet, but bounces right back up to him. What do you call that? A fortuitous bounce? Yeah, I guess. I guess yeah. 48 yard touchdown. Wow. Troy Corson. Corson with a real jewel that time, and the kick after is good. So finally, the white team on the scoreboard. And Bruce, while we got a chance, we have shortened the periods this morning. Talk about that. Yeah, they're down to 10-minute quarters instead of uh, 12, and they're doing this primarily because of the heat situation. It is very humid here. It's in the high 70s, close to 80 already here in the morning, but the humidity is up about 85%, so it's the importance of protecting these players, you know, and keeping them hydrated so that we don't have any problems with heat. All right, very well stated. Little swing pass to the left side. The receiver, number 34, DeAndre Thomas. Thomas with the swing pass out of the backfield and the reception. 
Let's see here, another swing pass out of the backfield. Good job of catching the football with his hands. P ends up picking up about three yards. All right, so with the clock running, two minutes to play here in the first quarter. We are in game number one of four games uh, today. In the broadcast booth, bringing you all these games are the big time sports guys. For you people who do not live in Northeastern Ohio, check it out, Bruce, call the replay. You can see just the uh, handoff up the middle. Good job of blocking by the offensive line. Picks up 10 for first down. This time, looking downfield, has got a receiver down there, and he is going to bring it in at the 25-yard line. Nice pass, nice catch, and it's not like the defender is not there. Man, nice throw. Right on the money, good spiral, picks up 27 yards on the completion. Wow. Check. Yeah, number 17, that's the Donnie. 26-yard line. Sidon Thadani with a nice catch over there and a big pickup down to the 25. Tailback, number 34 out of the backfield. DeAndre Thomas, Thomas, DeAndre Thomas the back to the Senator line of scrimmage. And the quarterback on that last play was uh, Darren Braden, quarterback out of Connecticut. All right. So yeah, in northeastern Ohio, it is very hot and very humid here in northeast Ohio. Ten minute quarters today. Safety comes first here with these middle school football games brought to you by the good people at USA Football. Once again, that was Bryden on the throw. Man, he's been very accurate. So it was a nice tight spiral for a middle school player. Yeah. Keep in mind, if you just tuned in, I know there's a lot of talent out there, but these are middle school football players from all over the nation here in Stark County, Ohio. This, of course, is the last day. We worked with USA football last summer. We're doing it again this summer. USA football, big time sports, and image video. Wow. That's what you call the trifecta, baby. 30 seconds and counting. The throw is out. And guess what? They got it. They have him again over there. I'll tell you what, this is just simply pitch and catch to the wide receiver, Thadani. Yep, right into Zadani again. Big tall receiver catches the ball with his hands, picks up about five. They got set back by the first penalty of the game. So it's going to bring up fourth down and about eight, and they're going to try a field goal. All right, and with that field goal, Aiden Martin will kick it away, but the quarter is going to expire. But I assume they're going to let him. Uh, whoop, there's a snap, and they're going to wave it dead. So we're going to the other end to try it. All right, so that's going to complete one quarter of a football here from Perry High School in Maslin, Ohio. We'll be back with more after you uh, watch this. Protect what matters most. The USA Football Protection Tour is a series of free one-day football camps that educate youth football players, parents, and coaches on the importance of proper equipment fitting, tackling fundamentals, and CDC-approved concussion recognition and response protocols. Watch for this year's Protection Tour schedule and sign up today for an event near you. The icon of the game. The icon of competition. The icon of athleticism. The icon of fandom. The icon of the future. The future of football is now.
And welcome back. There you see the score of the red team, 14, the white seven, and uh, Booth Buddy, Bruce Witter, Siege Sports. The good people at Siege Sports is going to take care of business here in the second quarter. Why don't you tell everybody out there about Siege Sports? Yeah, Siege Sports is proud to be the official uniform partner of the U.S. national team. Follow Siege Sports on Twitter to check out the custom uniforms and apparel they create for high school and college teams nationwide. To learn learn more, visit SiegeSports.com. All right, ready to start that second period here. The score, 14-7. All right. Fourth. Well, they're going to kick it from the... Be a 40-yard attempt here from the 30-yard line. Guess what? And guess what, Bruce? Oh. Just short. Just short. Yeah, gave it the old college try, but fell a little bit Number short. 13, the kicker, the Aiden uh, Martin uh, for the Reds. So the, uh, the kick is no good. The score will remain at 14-7. to seven. Going back to what Bruce told us in the first period, we are going to play 10-minute quarters all day today. We have four games uh, on the slate today. Very hot, very humid here in northeastern Ohio. So every precaution has been taken, not only uh, shortening uh, the playing periods, but I see a lot of water and a lot of ice uh, down there for the benefit of the players. So we'll start things from the 20. It'll pass to the left side. Going to have a penalty. We've got a block in the back out on the corner. Spring him loose. It's going to be the second penalty of the game, probably. All right, so flag on the field. And Bruce, I got to guess you are correct, my young friend. We have a block in the back on the offense at the 10 yard penalty. All right, block in the back on the offense. So we're going to take it backwards, and we're going to spot it just inside the 10 now. Here's the penalty, Bruce. You can see it right out. The block comes right here into the picture. Right there, they called that. That's what sprung him loose. Pass is caught. The pass is caught at the six-yard line, hit immediately. And that time, Anthony Galati had no chance. He caught the football, but he had two guys hanging on him and bring him down at the seven. Yeah, big play by number 47, Albert Pontrelli, linebacker out of Illinois. <laughs> this is a very, very slow developing play out of the backfield. Gonna be a loss on the play again, just over the five yard line. And that was Pontrelli again in the white backfield, number 47. Again, he's going to throw it downfield, and he's going to overthrow the receiver, the intended receiver, Gavin Inman. A tight end, Gavin Inman, looking up for the football, but overthrow him, put a little bit too much on the pass. And bring up fourth down and long punting situation, and the red team's going to get very good field position here. Well, red team already with a uh, seven-point lead here in the uh, second period. Here's the punt. Fielded at the 31-yard uh, line. That's uh, Giovanni Giovanni Colon. Giovanni Colon. Giovanni Colon. Team Red will take over first With the kick. So 8.54 to play in the uh, second period. It's a 14-7 game. In favor of the guys that take control now of the football, and they will have great field position at the 32. Out of the backfield. Uh-oh, we have a flag on the play. The quarterback still R.J. Connell. The running back, number 13, as it was earlier, Ethan, Ethan Hebb out of the backfield. Got a penalty, walk off five. 
against the red guys. From the 37, this is Ethan Hebb. Hebb doing some shaking, bacon, flag on the play, and my Ethan guess Hebb is the it's all face mask, right? Yep, I think got a face mask right when Hebb Daniel made his Brad cut there the in the middle of the line. They swiped across the face away. mask, so it's going to... We have a five-yard face mask penalty. Five, so it's in, not in, you know, wasn't a severe, just a swipe of the mass, so five yards tacked on to the end of the run. Hey, there it was, number 72 just swiped the face mask. So they're going to put it at about the 29-yard line with the clock running at 840. Ethan Hebb again out of the backfield, going to go wide, got a block, got a stiff arm, going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 15. Good bit of running that time by Ethan Hebb. Yeah, picked it, picked it up about again. 14 yards. You're going to see a good block out on the edge here by number 18. This brings him around, good stiff arm, picks up 14 and a first down. First down from the 16, the red team again moving the chains. Hebb out of the backfield, but uh-oh, uh-oh. How about Gabriel? How about Gabriel Perez? Perez number 72 with the big stick. Yeah, out of Virginia. See right here, good job. Loss of about a yard on the play. Yep, second and Yep, scoreboard says second and nine. From the 15th, loose ball. R.J. Connell will fall on it to uh, keep possession. Really throwing them off schedule here now. It's going to be about uh, third and 15, third and 16. Going backwards on these last two plays. Yeah. You know, but so, so far, you know, uh, R.J. Connell has been running the show for the Reds. He's going to throw into the end zone and a nice pick. And I'll tell you what, that ball was in the okay. air, Bruce, just a little oh, bit too it's long it's that time. Yeah, yeah, this secondary good. person played it very well. He had his eyes on he it the whole way the when he picked it off. You see it? Left-hander throws down. You see right, right there. Good job of center yeah. fielder. Came right in and picked it off. Yeah, that was uh, Ethan Huber. Ethan Huber with the uh, pick at the goal line to save the day, at least momentarily, for the White. So the White team will now come to the line of scrimmage. They operate from the five-yard line. Here's the snap. Going to look downfield. Going to throw downfield. Got to go wide open. How does he get that wide open? All the way down to the 35, a big 30-yard pickup. First play for scrimmage. Yeah, they ran, they, they ran a little crossing pattern. You can see it. Inside man, down, out, and up. Hits him right on stride. 30-yard uh, pass completion. 19 is Troy Carson on that reception. Carson, one of the players to watch, and guess what? We got another pick, this time by the guys in the red. And how about, how about? I think it was 60, wasn't it, Christopher Bowers? Yep. All right, number 50 is. No, it is. Yeah, number 60 is Christopher Bowers. Bowers uh, with the pick. Yep, out of uh, Georgia, linebacker out of Georgia. So again, the red team with the football operating from the 47. Just under seven minutes to play before halftime. We are in game one of four games coming at you today. Compliments of uh, USA football and Michael, big time sports. Uh, Alvarado with the carry. Yep. Stop by number 70. Down to the 38 Walter. yard line. So they're going to move the chains on this one. Check it out on our replay. That's Michael Alvarado, the running back. He's going to pick up nine, almost ten. He's about needs going to bring up second and one. Wow. Thought he had it, but just short. 
Jones, a little slant pattern. This is the big receiver now. On the near side of the field, he's gonna take it down to the 27 yard line. Pick up about 10. Yep. Pick up again. Slant in. Ball's right on the money again. Big target though, like you said, Charlie. I like what I see so far of Zidane uh, Thadani. Pretty good wide receiver, big target, got good feet, big soft hands. Uh-oh, Alvarado, touchdown, baby. So weak, but head up with Bob Bayon, 26 yards on that run. Yep. Check it out, Alvarado's gonna carry the mail, 26 yards for the touchdown. Good job, good blocking by the offensive line. Good cut, to make two or three miss into the end zone. Ups that lead to possibly 14 points here. Martin, I like it, looks good from here. Martin tacks another one on to make it a 21-7 game now in favor of the red and while i've got a chance i want to direct you high school football fans to a website particularly you ohio high school football fans i want you to go to big time sports ohio.com that's big time sports ohio.com we're the big time sports guys we take care of business here in northeastern ohio with high school sports 24 7 3 6 5 and we partner with the uh, good people the professional people at image video in north canton ohio so from the 35 now the white team down by 14 now with the football nowhere to run baby Nowhere to run. Who did that one for us? Martha? Martha and the Vandellas, nowhere to run. Remember that? I'm not sure, Charlie. Well, you're not old enough, right? Good tackle there by number 30 from the red team, Brooks Byers, the linebacker out of Florida. Quarterback in trouble. Quarterback's going to tuck it and take it. Quarterback gets by the defender. It's going to be knocked out about set to 48 yard line. So pick up a 13 and check it out. And you can see that's uh, number one for the white team. Myron Scott, the quarterback, gets flushed out. Good speed, makes miss. Out of bounds, picks up first down. First and 10 from the 48. A little quick hitter to the outside. Gonna be knocked out at the 48 on the other side. Stepped out of bounds. Clear back, though, on her own 46. Okay. That was Troy Carson. Troy Carson, number 19, the wide receiver. Actually, for about a the Ryan White team. Make it second down. 15 now for the 48. Here's a throw. Looking. Got a guy out there. Can he hit him? Over. Threw him. That one had touchdown written all, right, all over it, but a little bit too much pop. On the pass. Yeah, those were uh, stop pumps and goes on both sides of the field, and he just overthrew the receiver. You bring up third and about 13. White team needs, uh-oh, got flags on the play. Red defend defenders, a little bit anxious that time to get inside the backfield. Guilty party, Ian Riley, a big uh, defensive lineman. Riley in there just a little bit too soon. Brings it to a more manageable third and eight. A lot more manageable, right? He's gonna look, he's gonna keep it, gonna cut. Made a nice cut trying to get to the outside and guess what? It doesn't look good at first, but now he's going to take it all the way down to the 35-yard line. Watch Myron Scott scramble, baby. Yeah, you got uh, moves and feet and quickness and cuts like this young man. Makes a couple misses, picks up 15 yards and a first down. Myron Scott, number one, the quarterback, quicker than a New York minute. But he's out of Florida. Yeah, but I think on his class trip, they went to New York. Mackay Crawley with the carry. Tackled by number 47. Down to the 31-yard uh, line. 
with the carry. Stay home, stay home. Very hot, very humid here in northeastern Ohio. And 99% of these parents and fans sitting out there in the sun. Gonna throw downfield, got him again. Wow, he had Corson again. Myron Scott, and Myron Scott gets that pass there. It's an easy touchdown because Troy Corson had a 10 yard lead on the DB, baby. Yeah, ran an, an inside and then out, back out to the uh, pylon. He was breaking open, just overthrew him. All right, third and seven. White needs a score here, Charlie, get back in this game. Absolutely, buddy. And I'm sure they're thinking, I'm thinking that also. On the ball. Scott, getting some last minute instructions from the sideline. Scott will drop back, Scott will look. Scott with a slap pattern over the middle, through behind the intended receiver. Pass and uh, the intended re receiver Broken hit the deck, five. couldn't come up with the football. Bring up Number fourth and seven. Giovanni what do you think, Bruce? What's your call here? Put on your coaching hat and make the call. Well, you put the ball in the hands of uh, you know Myron Scott. He can he can get the first down with his legs if he gets flushed out of the pocket. I'd like to see him maybe get him out on the edge and a run pass option. Scott looks. Is he going to tuck it? No, he's going to throw it, and it's going to be incomplete at the 24-yard line. If that receiver hangs on to it. That could that be a first down. Yeah. Here it is, Bruce. Oh, Drills it right in there to his big tight end, number 83, Samuel Forsen. Floyson out of Minnesota. Just, uh, I think the defender might have got a hand on it. Good job in the secondary. Yeah, good job in the secondary. So they'll get the football back with just under four minutes to play before halftime. Not only did we shorten the, the quarter today, Bruce, we're also going to shorten our halftime. We're going to keep it at five minutes each game today for halftime because uh, of the exposure to the extreme humidity and the heat out there today. The running back out of the backfield. See here. Cuts it up inside right here. Good cut. Make Makes a couple miss, that's number 10. Nate Anderson, a running back out of Texas, picked up about eight. Anderson out of the backfield with a little flare pass. Anderson with some good okay. speed on the outside, taking it down to the 43 yard line. Picked up about eight, picked up about 18 yards, just a little swing pass out of the backfield. Knocked Good catch. Three, Ethan Turns on the Jets. Picks up 18 yards and a first down. First All right, so the red team now again with the football, again moving the chains and with a 14-point lead here late in the first half. The give again out of the backfield. Shakes the tackle. He's going to get some running room. Going to be knocked down at the 38-yard line. Nate Anderson with the carry. Finally, up about seven. After, yeah, this after, is Nate Anderson, Anderson again. Yeah, after the initial contact right there, it looked like he was stopped for no gain. Brings up second down and three. Good job of keeping his feet underneath him, keeping his balance. Picked up about seven yards, second and three. Yep. From the 38. R.J. Connell. That was yeah, 34. Thomas, uh, yeah. 34 yeah, right there, Charlie. DeAndre Andrew Thomas Hart. running back out of Missouri. Well, check it out because I think, Walking yeah, he one, bumped one, into one, his one, teammate, big number six. 63. Uh, Walker Garrett was trying to block for him. Again. Here's the big guy again. The big guy brings okay, it in, Donald and again a reception. Sedani, brought down by number five. That's that big Cameron. target out there, number seven, 17. Sadat Tadani. He's a wide receiver out of California. Wow, all the way from California to northeastern Ohio and Walsh University. 
Here's a give. This is Nate Anderson. Anderson is going to be stood up at the 30 and knocked down right there at the 30. Clock continues to move. A buck 55 to play and a half. It's imperative for the white team to keep the red team out of the end zone. You know, go down 21 points. It'll make it real tough to come back. Ball on the 30. Going to look for the pass. We're going to overthrow the receiver. And the intended receiver was Jake Grons. Jake Grons, number 82, took that hit from the uh, DB. R.J. Connell, another lefty quarterback out of Wisconsin. Wow, another cheesehead, huh? Another Packer fan. Uh oh, flag on the plate. Bruce, we are gonna have a hold. Yeah, or a block in the back right out on the edge R. right J. there. They may decline Peter. this because, uh, you know, he lost about five Peter. yards Peter. on the play and it's gonna br it bring there up a fourth down and the long then. Yeah, here's the referee with the call. We have a block in the back on the offense. That penalty is declined. Yeah, you called it, Bruce, block in the back, but because it was a loss, they're going to decline the penalty. So the red team, fourth down now. It's going to bring up about fourth. More than about 13. 13 for the red. Marking it to punt the team red. All right, so a punt now. Yes. I think that's Aiden Mart Martin. He's the punter as well as the place kicker. Timeout, Charles. Yep. All right, timeout, red. Aiden Martin just getting ready to uh, boot it away when. Uh, Correct. That's timeout, white. All right, let's talk now about the good people from shock doctor all right trust your teeth and your smile to shock doctor mouth guards trusted by athletes all over the world shock doctor is the official mouth guard of the usa national team so make sure you got your mouth guard in and make sure you got it from shock doctor another proud sponsor of usa football and hot dogs and variety of foods out there for you. So, if you're so with the timeout now, you both teams, uh, well, just about now coming well, out of the hello, but we'll see a punt here. Well, at least I think we're going to see a punt, Bruce. Yeah, it, you have uh, number 20, Aiden Martin in there, the uh, kicker punter, another young gentleman out of Texas. These are middle school athletes today from all over the nation. Kicked by Martin. That one is going to go out of bounds. And uh, the official going to go down to about the. Spotted about the 15. Yeah, 15. Huh? 15 yard line. Clock at, speaking of 15, clock at 115 in the half. And Bruce, I think at halftime, the first thing I'm going to do is grab something real cold uh, uh, and wet to, yeah, to take care of an old mellow tone. Yeah, huh? get, uh, get hydrated. Yeah. Well, it is warm today, and this is only game one. All right, so operating now from the 15th, that pass was momentarily caught, but the receiver apparently heard footsteps and can't bring it in. Yeah, they've, they've now put, uh, the white team's now put uh, Myron Scott out of the, the uh, wide receiver spot and have number eight, uh, Peter Zamora, in a quarterback. Well, Zamora, one of those players to watch we talked about early in the ball game. Got a flag on the play, collision out there as Myron Scott hits the deck. We, Bruce, are going to have a little interference on the pass. Yeah, and Scott, you know, he's quite an athlete. You know, left-handed quarterback, great, good runner, scrambler, can throw the football, but he's also athletic enough. They're going to try to put him out there uh, at the wide receiver spot to because uh, he's a pretty good-sized target.
Well, they'll spot it at the 30. Another first down play from scrimmage. Got flags again. We have Central. Central. Ball start on the offense. Five yep, little count. movement on that O-line for the white team. Now, Bruce, can you imagine this? 300 kids over at Walsh University learning fundamentals, learning plays, getting to know each other, some fellowship, some camaraderie at the USA Development Camp, baby. You know, the great thing about social media now, these kids can keep in contact with each other, you know, for the rest of their high school careers and maybe into college because of the, you know, the phones, the texting, all that sort of stuff. So that's the great thing about, they'll make friendships forever out of this. 58 seconds on the clock with the uh, incomplete pass. At the end of the first half, we'll uh, take a quick break. Get something cold to drink, come back with the second half action. Good play on D by the red, the defensive back coming up quickly to make the hit. Tackle by number 60, Christopher Bowers. Yeah, that's number 60 on the tackle, Christopher Bowers. Uh, the linebacker that also picked off a pass out of Georgia. Third down and 10. Third and 10. And uh, they keep it on the ground. Had to wrap it up here in the uh, first half. About 20 seconds on the clock and counting. White team down by 14. Here's the snap of the football. Got to look downfield. Going to throw it very quickly. And this one is going to go nowhere. It's going to be stopped inside. It's going to be hit at about the 28 yard line. Now they're going to run the clock, and Bruce, we have played one half of a football in game number one of four today from Maslin Perry High School in Maslin, Ohio. Big time sports, image video, and USA football bringing you exciting action this morning. 21-7 at halftime. We'll be back with an exciting second half after this timeout. Heads Up Football is the best and in fact the only good way I know of changing the culture. It's really been about uh, creating a safer environment for our kids. Being the pilot program for Heads Up Football and me being the first player safety coach, it's completely changed everything. We're looking around going, why aren't we all doing this? There is nothing here that fundamentally changes the game of football. There's nothing here that we're not currently teaching. We're just teaching it in 25 different ways. And ultimately, there's the potential that we see a return that we're making the game safer. Everything evolves, everything grows, and this is the right thing, the most responsible thing to do. As a league administrator, I mean, I can't even imagine a program that doesn't do it. They adopted this because they love the game. But also, in a couple of years, the youth become high school players. It's an evolving project. Heads Up Football has changed the way we play. It's changed the way we practice, and it's changed the perception in the moms and dads. We have one consistent match of what we're talking about and how we're teaching our, our athletes to play the game. From ankle biter through 12th grade, we have one consistent curriculum. The continuity of the program at the youth level, executed all the way through the high school level, is so very important to the parent. It's kind of part of the fabric of what we do and how we coach now. This just helped us be a better staff and a better community. First and foremost, uh, we've had fewer head injuries. We have seen a sound decrease in concussions, in, in collision injuries. We're able to, to show with data that there's a difference. You know, Centerville High School played in back-to-back -back state championships and had the fewest injuries of our 25 high schools. That's a big deal. It makes me feel better because I know that my son is safer. He would come home and show us the stuff that he's learning. I just felt great about that. I'm like, oh, 
I'm so glad Heads Up Football is teaching you that. We're making tackles now that maybe we wouldn't have made a couple, you know, a few years ago just because we, we constantly hammer in the, the basics. Through Heads Up Tackling, I definitely am a better player and a better tackler. Our generation is getting taught a different way to tackle, like this is the right way. I think that it's starting to uh, really pay off because our numbers, we're up 40 kids. Um, which is huge. Wanting safer football is, you know, is, is absolutely the right thing for kids. Do this. Do it yesterday, both from the youth club level and then from the high school levels, because this is only making this a better game, better, safer game. You can be the best in your house. And then your state. Then get all the love. You can be the best in this house. You could be faster than the fastest. You can carry on a legacy. Then add a couple of these. And then make everyone want to be like you. And you can stop there, but you won't. Because you're not done yet. For the athletes moving the game forward, Gatorade's creating the fuel to do the same. Fueling today, fueling the future. And welcome back. We are just about ready to begin second half action. The score, red 21 and the white team seven. Charlie Jones is my name. Bruce Witter is my booth buddy today and we are big time sports here in Northeastern Ohio. This is USA football if you're just joining us and we're just getting set for second half action. Bruce, how about a synopsis of what we just saw in that first half? Well. The red team dominated the first half, you know, 21-7. So it was a first half of uh, big plays. Red team, two long uh, touchdown runs of 62 yards and 26 yards and topped that off with a 20-yard TD pass. The uh, white team countered with a 48-yard uh, touchdown pass. Seen some nice uh, athletic plays out of these young gentlemen. Remember, they're only 7th, 8th, and ninth grade middle school uh, players. So... Uh, Pretty good first half. Nice first half. We anticipate a good second half. And uh, game number one is what you are watching. Four games half. today coming at you on USA Development Game Football. And, of course, you want, if you want to learn more about what's going on at USA Football, it's real easy. It's usafootball.com. That's USA football.com if you want to learn more about big time sports ohio that's where you want to go big time sports ohio.com so uh second half about ready to start and bruce aren't you glad that you and i are not out there on that hot steamy astro turf yeah it's pretty toasty up here where we're at but i know it's real warm down on that AstroTurf. That just uh, kind of magnifies the uh, temperatures 
with that uh, sun beating off of that artificial surface. All right, so here we go. Ready for second half. We have a pit ball. Encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty, still first down. All right, so to begin things, we have a we have a five-yard penalty. And Bruce, why don't you tell us about Cutter's Gloves? Cutter's Gloves. If you want to be the best, you have to wear the best. Cutter's football gloves and its grip technology are in a league of their own. Cutter's football gloves, the official glove of U.S. national team. All right, so timeout on the field. We have an injury on the field. Twenty-one to seven, early second half. Don't know who's injured, but uh, let's hope. Of course, the the young man is okay. Appears to be okay. Everybody back on their feet. Put their helmets back on now. Getting ready for action here in the second half. Bruce. What jumps out at you in that first half? Well, just the, you know, the, the athletic ability of these younger people. And, and the thing about it is their skills are only going to improve. You know, that's what this is all about, improving skills. And, uh, you know, when they get back to their home uh, bases and whatever state it is, their coaches will work with them even more. Well, starting the second half for the Red at quarterback. Keep an eye on number seven, Darren Bryden. Number seven, Darren Bryden. will be uh, calling the signals out of the Red backfield. Second and 10 now, ball at the 48. Here early second half. Bryden will give it. And uh, coming out of the backfield. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is he going to take it? To the bank, baby, so weak. Banana football fans, check this out. DeAndre Thomas out of the backfield, and that one is going to go a long way. A 52 yard scamper, baby. 48 yard touchdown run. And you can see he gets on the edge. Good block right there on the corner. Now he'll just outrun everybody down the sidelines. And like you said, Charlie, number 34, DeAndre Thomas, running back out of Missouri. Well, it doesn't take long for the Red to uh, get in the end zone. Here's the kick. They're going to give it to him. So with the point after Aiden Martin and Aiden Martin, going to need to ice down that leg after the game, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a good, uh, good strong leg. He just was a little short on a 40-yard field goal in the first half, and he's hit all four of his extra points. All right, so 9-24 now. A little less than three minutes is all it takes for the Red to go 48 yards on the carry by DeAndre Thomas for the touchdown. The white team now with the football. Let's see who they bring out. And, Bruce, when we get time... Out of the backfield, number 38, number 38 is Corey, Corey, Corey Gminder. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Corey Gminder, out of the backfield. Here it is again. In the double set. You can see he makes a couple cuts, picks up about a yard. Here it is. I'll tell you what, a little slant on the inside. Good bit of running number 24, uh, Makey Crawley. This is Makey Crawley, number 24. Big pickup. Picked up about 14 or 15. Crawley are running back out of Georgia. You can see some different people on the field now here in the second half. Going to drop back, going to pass. Yep. Yeah. Not a whole lot there. Matt Stifler, Matthew Stifler, calling the shots down for the guys in the white. And Bruce, as we get time, Bruce, I want you to give the old lineman, uh, you know, some shout outs as, as the game progresses, okay? Because they're out there in the trenches doing all the sweating and the grunting, making all these running backs and receivers look good. 
Going to take it up to the 46 yard line. See the ball! Again, with the carry, this is Mickey Crawley with the football. Replay up inside. Picks up about six yards, five yards after initial contact. All right, call it third and six now. Ball at the 46-yard line. Here's a snap with the football. Matthew knocked down. Good defense up there at about the 25-yard line. Knock it down, Bruce. Knock it down, baby. You can see it throw over the middle. Down good defensive good. play. We're going to bring up fourth down. Roberto Diaz Jr. is in for punt. So Diaz will come into a punt now. This is Roberto Diaz Jr. Nice punt. All the way down to the 19th. It will be fielded. So the red team will take possession of the football. With a big 21 point lead here early in the third period. USA development game of football at Maslin Perry High School. USA football would like to thank the camp TV. We are at uh, Maslin, Ohio. We are located in northeast Ohio. We are right down the road from the Pro Football Hall of Fame in the neighboring city of Canton, Ohio. A hot, humid morning. These are middle school football guys out there playing the best the game carry. they possibly can up to the 21 yard line. By number 91, Mark Ethan Hebb was the ball carrier once again. You can see the replay. Up inside, got some penetration by big number 67 off the white team. That's uh, Eon May, a defensive lineman out of Arizona. Here's a gift. We've seen uh, this guy in the first half. Number He's got a good set of Patrick wheels Curry. on him. Going to take it down, and I think they're going to mark it at about the 44-yard line. So big, big, really big pickup that time out of the backfield. And, Bruce, we know this number. This is Ethan Hebb for the red. Yep. Linebacker number 62, Justin Euler, makes the tackle on the sideline right here. Again. They're going to give it to Heb again. Heb made some nice, quick cuts to get upfield. And there was Euler again, making him change uh, direction and uh, cut, made him cut back inside where his uh, teammates got to him. Good job by Heb on the edge. There's 62. And number three, it looks like, ends up making the tackle. That's Ethan Huber out of Kansas. At the 45. That one was almost picked off, and I'll tell you what, if he picks that one, if he picks that one, he's gone, Bruce. Yeah. That was a good, good coverage by number five, Cameron James, a defensive back out of Georgia right here. And then he almost was almost picked off by number 26, Liam Johnston, uh, out of uh, Oklahoma. All right, so uh, Ethan Hip will get the football. Quick handoff off the left side. Hip doing some high stepping and some quick moving. We'll take it down to the 36-yard line. So 36-yard line there. Good pickup, short by about a yard and a half of the first down. Boy, gives some good cuts in there, makes a number of guys miss. Number 62 for the white team. Justin Euler comes up with the tackle again. Brighton will give it. They'll get the first down. Ethan Hebb down to the 25 yard line and Bruce, Ethan Hebb just keeps him moving and puts his head down and keeps going. Yeah, he's been toting load here uh, in this series for the red team. And he's been running downhill. All right, so uh, let's see, what do we have here? Hebb is gonna go to the sidelines. 
I think maybe he might have got bumped and hit a little bit hard that time. They're going to take him to the sidelines, set him down, give him a breather. It's hot. It's humid. Get some fluids in him. Keep him uh, hydrated. So first and 10 from the 25 now. Early move as Darren Bryden, the red quarterback, brings him to the line of scrimmage. Lone, lone person in the backfield with the quarterback, Michael Alvarado, in that backfield. Bring up a first and five after the penalty. Red team on the move again. Dryden quickly hits his receiver. His receiver's going to be popped and knocked out, and the receiver, Aiden Cochran, Aiden Cochran, with the catch. Aiden Cochran out of Illinois, wide receiver, good catch. Turns it back upfield. Picked up enough for the first down. It's Hebb again, Yeah, gonna Charlie. take it, gonna take it down to about the uh, 10 yard line. Picked up five up inside there. Some tough running. Under five minutes to play now in our third period. Game number one of four here today on USA Development Game Football. Dryden will take the snap. We'll look for the receiver. He's got Hebb out on the flats. Hebb will pick it. Hebb will take it all the way down to the five-yard line. Just a quick swing pass to the running back. Yeah, and a good job by that offensive line. Offensive line for the red team. You see no penetration at all there. That offensive line's made up of Walker Garrett out of Texas, Ashton Martin out of Georgia, Liam Wrench out of Wisconsin, Jonathan Miller out of Illinois, and Daniel Jenkins out of the state of Washington. Dryden into the end zone, should have been a touchdown, and there's the guy that we were talking about in the first half. That's that big receiver by the name of, this is the Donny, the Donny who had a good first half, should have had a touchdown on this cat. Yeah, nice right in the hands, just didn't quite handle it. Good throw by Bryden. Right there where only Thadant could catch it. Thadani. <laughs> Happens every Number once in a while. Can't get them all. All right, so the field goal attempt coming out uh, to kick it will be Aiden Martin. And with the hold, of course, Ethan Hebb. Hebb puts it down. Martin kicks it up, and I like it. No. They say it's no good, thought it went through, but it did not, and so the, the kick, kick no after fails on the attempt they by Aiden score. Martin. Team red, 28, team seven. 28-7 now with four minutes to play in the third period. A lot of guys coming in and out, trying to keep some fresh guys in there, particularly with this uh, Ohio humidity uh, that we have had lately. They're going to run games today. We're going to play 10-minute quarters. These are middle school athletes. You're watching today in four games uh, coming at you. Each roster has about 36 players on it, Charlie, so they can uh, move players in and out. Everybody plays, so it's not like there, you know anybody sits on the bench the whole game. And... Uh, these are all kids that have been picked from uh, regional places to uh, come here to Canton to uh, play in, in these games. All right, there you see the replay. Up to the 25-yard line, Troy Corson, the intended receiver. A little bit too hard for Corson to handle, so it'll be an incomplete pass now. Make it third and five from the 24. Corson's a wide receiver out of Pennsylvania. Now, he didn't have far to come, did he? No. No. Right. Yeah. As long as he was from Western PA and not Eastern PA. Scott. <laughs> Myron Scott overthrows the receiver. 
And receiver Anthony Galati. Galati couldn't get to the football. Too much zip on the pass from Myron Scott. Can bring up fourth down. Here's the replay. Good job by the offensive line for the white team. That offensive line's made up of Marshall Stafford out of South Carolina, Ethan Myers out of Indiana, Jacob Bransford out of Indiana, and Maxwell Gregor out of Connecticut, and Quentin Effinger out of Texas. All right, so they'll spot it at the 45-yard line. The red team with a big a three-touchdown lead will, will take control of the football. I think these big offensive linemen will sweat off any poundage here uh, today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure of that. Wow. 3.22 in the third, 28-7. Red team on top and with the football. And at quarterback again, R.J. Connell for the red. He'll look. He's going to get hit in the backfield for a big loss all the way back to the 37-yard line. That was Joe Strickland, number 73 out of Indiana on the sack right here. Good heat that time. Here comes the heat from the white team to knock him down for the big loss, second and 17 now. Bill, a big hole there, yeah, Charlie. Wow. Check out Alvarado, baby. Michael Alvarado, the running back, down to the 44-yard line. I think you, Bruce, you, Bruce, at 70, at 70 years old can get through that hole. Yeah. If I could walk, I could get through there, not run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they lost eight on the previous play and picked up 19 on that play, so it's a first down. Yep. Here it is again. He'll keep it. Going to be knocked down back at the 50 and give credit to big number 90. Malaki Mazzetti, baby. Defensive lineman out of Maryland. See him get through off the read. Good speed right there. Loss of about six. All right, second 16 from the midfield strike. They're going to give it to the first guy through. This is Alvarado. Alvarado is going to get it down to the 47-yard line. Only got three yards on the carry. Forced out of bounds by number 73 again, Joe Strickland, defensive lineman out of Indiana. Three on the play brings up third down and 13. Need 13 yards to... Keep the chains moving on this snap. Alvarado out of the backfield. Makes a nice cut inside. He's going to get the first down, and Alvarado, wow, I like that kid, too, all the way down to the 28-yard line and yardage after catch. Check out the yak, baby. And you're going to see a great block here right there by number 65, uh, Ashton Martin out of Georgia that springs him loose. Gives the quarterback time to get the ball to him, and they pick up a big first down. From the 28, Alvarado out of the backfield. Alvarado, not, uh, you know, a huge running back, but good, strong legs on Alvarado. will take it down to the 25, pick up a three on the carry. Yeah, it keeps those... Keeps the feet moving. You see right here, contact. Keeps good base underneath of him. And he picks up about three yards after the first contact there in the middle of the line of scrimmage. Second and seven. 25. They tried to throw the big guy, Thadani, but they can't get it to him, overthrew him. He got hung up on... Uh, you know, with a DB back there. Yeah, he tried to curl, run a little curl pattern, a little in pattern in the middle of the field, and uh, good job by the defensive back. Throwing the play off uh, schedule. Third and seven now. For the red, R.J. Connell. Here's that same play again. Yep. I'll tell you what, and this time they are waiting for it. 
Good stop, Bruce. Okay. Who was that? That was uh, 29, Cooper Petty, a linebacker out of Texas. Shows good speed on the edge, off the fake. Right here, R.J. Connell. Can't get to the edge. Good tackle. Fourth down. Yeah, and long. Fourth and nine, and uh, they're going to attempt the uh, field goal by Aiden Martin. Going to be a 43-yard attempt here. The holder, number 10, Nate Anderson. Anderson will take the snap. He'll put it down. Here's the kick, and it's going to be way short. So the white team uh, held the line there, and the white team will take control of the football. Less than only six seconds left here in the third quarter. All right. Quick third period. It was a 21-7 ball game at halftime. Early in the second half, the red team came out on fire and very quickly with a 48-yard scamper puts it in the end zone. White team needs to get some offense going here. Gets number eight, Zamora at quarterback. Yep, you're right, Peter Zamora. And absolutely, positively, nowhere to run at that time. The running back, Kylan Wallace. Number 10 is Kylan Wallace in that backfield. That was number 84, Josh McCarron. Defensive lineman for the red team out of Washington on the tackle. All right, so that's going to do it. We have completed uh, three quarters of football. 28-7 in favor of the Reds. Stay right there. We'll be back with more after this timeout. What does it take to become elite? It takes more than dedication, focus, and hard work. It takes an elite level training program. Customized, sport specific, online. Your perfect workout every time. That's Vault Athletics. So it's saying this is sports performance, whether we're talking about Olympic athletes or middle school and high school athletes, the foundation is the same. We want to remove dysfunction and then build upon their sports-specific movements to allow them to function at a very high level on and off the field. And welcome back to USA Football. The give out of the backfield, the fake pass on the flats. The ball will be advanced to about the 21-yard line here. First play of our fourth period. Game number one out of four games today, compliments of USA football development games. That was number 16, Hall Edmonds, a linebacker out of Colorado on the tackle. I'm Charlie Jones, and uh, my booth buddy today, Mr. Bruce Witter. We are the big-time sports guys from a big time sports here in Northeastern Ohio. Gets a block, gets it up to about the 24 yard line. Pick up of uh, maybe two on the carry. So number 45, Jack Baxter out of Maryland and 47, Albert Pontrelli out of Illinois on the tackle. I think, uh, Bruce, well, Bruce, last weekend there were 40 states represented amongst the players here in last week's game, so I'm sure we got most of them represented again today. I believe you're right. Knocked down, picked up at the 47-yard line. And, Bruce, the guys in the red with field position. Yeah, pretty, they've pretty much dominated this game from start to, you know, up through now. Their field position's been very good, and uh, we got some pretty good athletes on both sides of the field down here. 8.40 to play in the ball game. You can tell they're starting to get a little tired, a little bit walking around now. It's hot down there. Yeah, yep. it is hot. 
you know, and some of these kids come from down south. You know, there's Florida kids, South Carolina kids, but this humidity is pretty oppressive. Here's a snap. The give is to Nate Anderson. Anderson finds a hole. Anderson is going to pound the football down to the 35. Pick up by Nate Anderson. See right here, it's just up the middle, good blocking. And once he gets into that second level, he finds some extra running room, and that's Nate Anderson, a running back out of Texas. All right, so check it out now. First and 10 from the 35-yard uh, line with the football. Anderson loses a football. There's a scramble for it. It's on the carpet, and I think, and Bruce number 29 in the white with the football. Yeah, that's Cooper Petty, man. He came out of nowhere, jumped on that football. Linebacker out of Texas. Wow, good job by the white team. You can see it right here. The ball squirts out like a grape coming out of there. And Cooper Petty is right there to jump on it. Wow, that's Cooper Petty. That's Tom Petty's son. Remember Tom Petty? And the Heartbreakers. Ah, you don't, huh? Yeah. All right. First and 10 now from the 40. White team uh, gets the football back, picks it up off the carpet. Turnover, red football, white snap. A cross pattern with the football for the uh, white team. Makai Crawley. Crawley with the carry, but not a whole lot of room anywhere that time. Yeah, lost about three yards on that play. Red team defensively has really done a very good job. You see right here, they just stack up the, the whole uh, line of scrimmage right there. Numerous people in on the tackle. Nice pass. Quick one, this is Troy Corson. Corson, battling, Matthew battling, gonna be smothered at the 40 yard line. So all of that work yields a, a short pickup of three. A really good job by the red defense there. You know, they, everybody, everybody run into the football. You'll see it right here. Pass out and you're gonna see about six red jerseys eventually end up out there around that tackle. Good hustle there by number 67 from the down. red team, Loren Sykes. All right, so that pass downfield, knocked down. The pass, it was kind of one of those wounded duck passes that kind of floated out there. Could have been picked, but fortunately, was not. So fourth and 10 now from the 40. We're gonna have Roberto to punt it away, Diaz and that brings in Roberto Diaz Jr. out of Texas is the punter. All right, so Diaz. How about the 38 yard line where he uh, fields the football? So gonna bring him in, gonna bring him out, gonna get set up here now for our next uh, offensive series with the clock stopped at 634. 28-7 is our score here in game number one. That punt was fielded by Gatlin Brown, number 23, a defensive back out of Kansas. Darren Bryden back in there now at quarterback for the red team. Bryden will give it. And DeAndre Thomas is still upright and with the football. You remember DeAndre Thomas, you know, started the fireworks in the second half with that 48 yard touchdown run. Yeah, you can see he gets good penetration by the white team right here. Number 72, he can't bring him down, no. He reverses field and he's gonna pick up about seven yards uh, after the uh, first initial contact. That was Gabriel Perez, the first hit out of Virginia. Again, Thomas will take it across the uh, 50, down to about the 48-yard uh, line. 
Tackle made by Andrew Hart, number 49, a linebacker out of New York. You'll see him come into the picture right here. Number five also in there, that's Cameron James. And, uh, and uh, that'll move the chains. Call it first and 10 now from the 49. Thomas again with the football down to the 45-yard line. It looked like an almost a direct snap to Thomas that time. I think you're right, Bruce. That's one of those urban single wing type play. All right. We want to thank our good friends from the squad locker for helping out with the USA development games. If you get a chance, check out Squad Locker. Again, a supporter of USA development game football. This is a big guy. This is Ethan Hebb out of the backfield. He'll take it down to about the 37 yard line. And Hebb is one of those heads down, hard running type running backs. Yeah, it's a good job uh, there by number 26. He can see he's not down, but he keeps on. Uh, Ryan Barnes, a defensive back out of Virginia, held on for the tackle. Ball at the uh, 38 now on the uh, first down. Clock running at 440 here in the contest. Hebb, along with Darren Brighton, in the red backfield. Bryden takes a snap. Quick give to uh, Bryden. And Bryden will take it down to the uh, 29 yard line. And you know, as good as that run was, that young man there did something that you wouldn't expect someone this age to do. And he stayed in bounds to keep the clock running, Charlie. You can see he's pinned on the sideline right here. And he tries Something to stay in bounds, and he does, and the clock continues to run. Good job by that young man. First and 10 from the uh, 28. Give out of the backfield. This guy, DeAndre Thomas, with a nice cut inside, taking it down to the 22. I'm going to give him a, a pickup of six on the carry. And that big uh, red team offensive line of Garrett, Martin, Ranch, Miller, and Jenkins just continues to wear down this white defense. 325, clock still moves. Out of the backfield again, and this time nowhere to go for DeAndre uh, Thomas, DeAndre number 34. Thomas you can also add in there number 80, the tight end, one of the tight ends, Kenny Butler the third out of Indiana, and the other tight end is Chase Calvin. All right. So the red team, Bruce, what do you think? Are you thinking they're just they're going to keep it on the ground and uh, keep the clock running, my friend? I don't think there's any doubt. 28-7 with the ball. Uh, it's going to bring up second down here in about 11. Here's a snap, Dryden gives it. Big hit at the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play, Alvarado back to the five, uh, original line of scrimmage. I think that was number 49 on the tackle, Andrew Hart, linebacker out of New York. Third and nine. Clock down to 2.15. Dryden will look. Quick pass outside. Nice cut inside. Uh-oh, loose football. And red, I saw a red jersey in her fall on it at about the 10-yard line, Bruce. Yeah, I think they're going to call it a fumble. Nice reception by uh, number 82. That's Jake Grons, wide receiver out of California. And I think Red recovered, gives him a first and goal. First and goal down right. inside the 10. Dryden 
Uh oh, another loose football, and this time White. Uh oh, no. I tell, I'll tell you what, that's like a hot potato, isn't it? Uh, more like a grape, since it's probably, you know, wet. And yeah. They're all sweaty, and he just can't keep a hold of the thing, and it just squirts out from under them every time they try to recover it. That's going to stop the clock with a minute 30 to play. They're going to wind it now and start it again. End up no gain, down to the nine. All right, second and, and goal. And Out of the backfield, and he's going to get in, Bruce. Wow, another big, big, really touchdown run by DeAndre Thomas. Yep, he gets out on the edge. He's got speed. He's hard to catch once he gets on the edge like that. All right, so DeAndre Thomas, who had a 48-yarder early here in the second half, now with another touchdown run. That'll make it 34-7. And into the ball game again is Aiden Martin to try the PAT. The kick by Martin is up. The kick by Martin is good. So with that, that's going to make it 35-7 to now with a minute three to play in the ball game. Don't forget, at the conclusion of this game, we're going to take a, a, a quick five-minute break, and then we will come back with game number two. USA football, these are the development games brought to you by USA football. USA football salute. Your commitment and passion for Image video and for your athletes. here in North Canton is our video producer. And uh, the booth guys, the booth talent, compliments of big time sports. You got Myron Scott, number one, back in at the quarterback position. Well, they're going to try out of the backfield, but he's going to be tripped up, clear back at the 32-yard line. Yeah, just well, too much penetration. I think that was number 16, Hall Edmonds, linebacker in there out of Colorado to blow that play up. Little slant in pattern thrown to the uh, tight end. A little bit too much of a lead on to throw the ball. Falls to the carpet and is incomplete. Tended receiver was Samuel Floyson. Tight end out of Minnesota. Pretty big target. On the clock, 34 seconds. He'll drop back. He'll look. He's got to tuck it and take it. And uh-oh, good night, Irene, baby. He is going to take it to the end zone. And uh, Bruce, that's got to be about a 67-yard touchdown run. You're exactly right. And he's got some real speed once he gets out there. Wow, how about that one by Myron Scott? 67-yarder, and that makes... The white team feel a little bit better. Would you think, Bruce? Yeah, with 21 seconds left here in the game. Both of their scores have come off of uh, long plays, 48-yard touchdown pass and a 67-yard run. All right, kick is up, kick is good, and Bruce, let's go back now and let's check out the action on the cutter glove catch of the game. Call the action, Bruce. Many, many thanks to the good people at Cutter's Gloves for taking care of USA football. Here it is now, Bruce. And here's that 48-yard touchdown. And you can see good stiff arm. This is the one that pops out, bounces back up to him, and that is number 19, Troy Corson, wide receiver out of Pennsylvania on the reception for the touchdown. All right, and again, thanks to Cutter's Gloves. Hey, if you want to make a sure catch, you want to get a pair of Cutter's Gloves. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. 
So uh, with that, that is our last play of the game. The clock will expire. The, all right, our player of the game in game number one is number 34, DeAndre Thomas. Number 34, Bruce DeAndre Thomas, our player of the game. And here it is again. Check it out on the Shock Doctor replay. Bruce, call it. Once he gets on that edge, good block there. And once he gets on that edge, down the sideline, big run. Touchdown. Multiple touchdowns for him today. Congratulations to him player of the game. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching game number one. Stay right there because in five, six, seven minutes, we're going to be right back with game number two. 35-14 in favor of the Red. We'll be back after you take this time out. <laughs>